Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly, and deliberately, attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. We want to get the hell over there. The quicker we clean up this goddamned mess, the quicker we can take a little jaunt against the purple pissing japs and clean out their nest too. Before the goddamned marines get all of the credit. It is evil things that we will be fighting against. Brute force, bad faith, injustice, oppression and persecution. And against them, I am certain that the right will prevail. Defend Paris to the last, destroy all bridges over the Seine and devastate the city. Hmm, how'd this war thing work out for you, Adolf? Like so many of our people, we have now had a personal experience of German barbarity, which only strengthens the resolution of all of us to fight through to final victory. To every man of us, Tobruk was a symbol of British resistance, and we were now going to finish with it for good. Well, Erwin, you and Adolf certainly were not the sharpest knives in the drawer. I fear all we have done is to awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible resolve. Yep, you certainly did, and you paid a huge price for effing with America. As a nation, we may take pride in the fact that we are soft-hearted, but we cannot afford to be soft-headed. They sowed the wind, and now they are going to reap the whirlwind. The Red Army and Navy and the whole Soviet people must fight for every inch of Soviet soil, fight to the last drop of blood for our towns and villages, onward to victory. The President of the United States ordered me to break through the Japanese lines and proceed from Corregidor to Australia for the purpose, as I understand it, of organizing the American offensive against Japan, a primary objective of which is the relief of the Philippines. I came through, and I shall return. And he did return. The fruits of victory are tumbling into our mouths too quickly. I hate war as only a soldier who has lived it can, only as one who has seen its brutality, its stupidity. The Mediterranean will be turned into an Italian lake. Hey Benito, we hope you and your buddies are rotting in hell. The enemy win their battles from the air. They knock out my panzers with American armor-piercing shells. Oh, was life a little tough for you? Gentlemen, you are about to witness the most famous victory in history. And you, Adolf, got what you deserved. Among the men who fought on Iwo Jima, Uncommon valor was a common virtue. I have returned many times to honor the valiant men who died. Every man who set foot on Omaha Beach was a hero. It is foolish and wrong to mourn the men who died. Rather, we should thank God that such men lived. Hell is on us. Yep. You messed with the wrong country. 
I saw my enemies in Munich, and they are worms. Even worms were are far better than you, Adolf. If everyone is thinking alike, someone isn't thinking. Our losses have reached an intolerable level. This war is not an ordinary war. It is the war of the entire Russian people. Not only to eliminate the danger hanging over our heads, but to aid all people groaning under the yoke of fascism. There is nothing preventing the enemy reaching Paris. We were fighting on our last line, and it has been breached. I am helpless, I cannot intervene. In war, resolution. In defeat, defiance. In victory, magnanimity. In peace, goodwill. In a life and death struggle, we cannot afford to leave our destinies in the hands of failures. How horrible, how fantastic, how incredible it is that we should be digging trenches and trying on gas masks here because of a quarrel in a faraway country between people of whom we know nothing. Soldiers of the Reich, this day you are to take part in an offensive of such importance that the whole future of the war may depend on its outcome. Adolf, you ended up losing again. And we all know how the rest of it went. May God have mercy upon my enemies, because I won't. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon a great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. It was close, but that's the way it is in war. You win or lose, live or die, and the difference is just an eyelash. The Germans should have thought of some of these things before they began the war, particularly before attacking the Russians. Force is the only language they understand, like bullies. I sincerely desire to be appointed commander-in-chief of the air fleet to attack Pearl Harbor, so that I may personally command that attack force. You won that battle, but got your ass kicked in the war. A lesson some present nations need to pay attention to. Peace is absurd, fascism does not believe in it. Rot in hell, little guy. Before we're through with them, the Japanese language will be spoken only in hell. Well, not quite. But the lesson that should have been learned is simple. Do not mess with America. The German soldier has impressed the world, however the Italian Bersaglier soldier has impressed the German soldier. And American and Allied soldiers kicked your ass. Hostilities exist. There is no blinking at the fact that our people, our territory, and our interests are in grave danger. With confidence in our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. And those are some of the most famous quotes from World War II. Some of these countries, you know who you are, never seem to learn. It is not wise to poke America and its allies. The results are usually not very good. We thank you for watching this video and kindly ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you back soon.